Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have an exciting new update for all Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now, this update is going to be an update that's going to apply to the keyboard application and it's going to enhance the keyboard application. It is known as a Samsung Core Language Update. It's a language understanding model that is able to work offline, understand words and grammar, and improve the sentences you type with your keyboard. So first, let me show you guys where to get the update. Now I'm going to show you what it does. So to get the update, there's going to be a link down below. When you click that link, you are going to be at my website. Once you are at the website, just scroll down just a little bit. Under download here, click the link to download. And you can read what this is right here. But tap on that. It's going to take you to the Galaxy Store. And you can see it says Samsung Language Core Update. So I am going to tap on Update. I'm going to scroll down while that is updating. It's going to be a big update. It's going to be more than a gigabyte. And then if I tap over here, you can see it says this model provides language understanding technology to apps. It is able to work offline, which is great. So you download this. It works offline on your device. That is why it is so large. Anything that works offline on your phone needs to be updated constantly. But you can see it enhances Samsung Keyboard and Samsung Health. Now this one I'm not that interested in, but this one right here, let me show you what it does as soon as the update is complete. There are some settings you need to enable to make sure this is working properly, but it does say it improves sentences entered by users and modifies sentence styles. And it says the model can also add emojis to suit the mood of these sentences. So let me demonstrate. All right, so the update is complete. Let's go back over here, pull up the keyboard. Now, the first thing that you want to make sure you have enabled to use this model is go to settings and make sure predictive text is enabled. If you disable this, a lot of things get disabled, as you can see. So this needs to be enabled to use it. So let me show you what's going on here. So as I type something into the keyboard, let's say, so let me just type in love. So as you can see, when I type that in, when there is a connected emoji, it shows up right here and you can use that to replace that. So that's great. But now you are able to use the same thing when you type an actual sentence. So let me type in, I love you. Okay, so I'm going to say love. Now as I type love, again, the, the emoji came up as a suggestion. But look at this. If I say you the emoji disappears, but when I put a space, it is going to suggest an emoji based on that sentence, not the word, the whole sentence, and I can add that, and it's not going to replace, and it's going to give me further suggestions, which I can use to decorate that sentence. Okay, so that is great, and that has been improved. Now, again, if I say I am very mad, Look at that, I have an emoji right there. I can tap on space and add it next to it, okay? Now normally, if I am right next to the word, right next to it, and if I tap on the emoji, it replaces the word, okay? But if you wanna use it as part of a sentence, you put a space. Then it's gonna analyze the whole sentence and make suggestions, and look at this. I'm getting extra, extra suggestions, and I can send that right over okay let's just say send so that's partially what this update improves so you can see the model can also add emojis to suit the mood of the sentences the model is going to recognize and it's going to suggest the emoji and then of course it improves the sentences entered by users and modifies sentence styles so in this example i just typed this in hey what are you doing man and again if you see an underline, you can tap on it, and that is going to allow me to tap on, hey, what are you doing, man? I can even tap on this one here, that's another suggestion, and then maybe I can add a question. Okay, just make it, makes it nice and clean. Again, it works very fast because this is offline, completely downloaded to your phone. So fantastic new update, grab it as soon as possible, and you are gonna be good to go. Now, if you have this, 
and you want to see what version you have right now, all you have to do is go into the settings, scroll down and go into the apps right here, and then tap on search and tap language core. Okay, so when you tap on this, it's 1.24 gigabytes. When you tap on this guy, you can go down and you can see the current version that you have. And you can also tap on app details in store to see if you have the update available. Some people may not get it right away, it might take a couple days, but you will get this update as long as you are using, as long as you have the Samsung Language Core application in your uh, phone. All right, guys, have a fantastic day.